I, I just, I don't know how to put out authentic work if it's the engine is just to keep putting out work. Who's benefiting from that? I remember I had talked to Steve Aoki when I had him on and mm -hmm. I was like, what's one of your biggest fears or concerns? Something like that question. He said, being irrelevant. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, I see a lot of people in Hollywood who like, they get the special and then like next year, and, and then they don't get picked up again for the mm -hmm. next season. So they're hot and then it's just, they're chasing to be hot again. Yeah. There's so much excitement and expectation or hope that it's gonna work out. Mm -hmm. How do you face that because you had, you know, Two Broke Girls, huge hit. You had your own show, which mm -hmm. was like two or three seasons, mm -hmm. I think, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe it didn't last as long as mm -hmm. the show you were creating. Mm -hmm. How do you deal with that just aspect of Hollywood mm -hmm. in your career mm -hmm. of hot, maybe not as hot, yep. and then really hot, and then okay, Yeah, slow. the vicissitudes of the in and How out. How do you deal with it emotionally? Or, yeah. And maybe you're better now because you're choosing things. You don't yeah. really care what's working in that yeah. way. But I guess to me, I just... You know, I think you put something out when it's good and that's mm. how you stay relevant, you know? Wow. No, it's like I just, and not, I, I agree with Steve and I, I feel that a lot too, but I also know feelings aren't facts and I mm. know what feelings are valid and which yeah. aren't. So it's like to just put stuff out to stay in the zeitgeist is, I just, I personally don't know, you know, a lot of comics. So you, it takes a year to put a good special together in order to make mm. good art you know, you have to have a life and you have to make mistakes and you have to go out in the world, you know. So um, I found that when I was doing, you know, three shows and there, you know, it was this whole thing and everyone thought of me as this big success. It was, I was in a writer's room all day and I, I wasn't having a life. And in order for art to imitate life, you have to have a life. And I didn't have one. Wow. And so I was limited in how good of an artist I could be. So now I believe you, you know, you make something and you go off and you live more and you grow and then you come back and make something else and hopefully your work is actually evolving. If I just only kept putting things out, it would, I'd be putting the same thing out. How could yeah. I improve? So I just am a big fan of going away, growing, restoring, living, coming back and elevating. You know, mm. that's just my process. And, you know, and I also do lots of different things. So, yeah. you know, I'll go do a special and then I'll do a show and then I'll do a um, book and then, I'll, you know, I, I, mm -hmm. I'm also... A robot that... It's not I'd have made robots. <laughs> I just, I don't care if people are interested in me. I, I just want to be interested, you know. In what you're doing. Because otherwise it's not going to be good. This is what I like. I feel like we're siblings or something because. Yeah. Past life I twins do, or something. I do a lot of things where my peers are like, what are you, why are you doing that? Yeah. Like I wrote a book a year and a half ago about masculine vulnerability. Great. It's called The Mask of Masculinity. Love it. And everyone was like, this is the worst business decision. Like, you should do something else based on your last book and keep building upon mm -hmm. it. And I was just like, this is what's going to be interesting to me. Yeah. And what I feel like is needed right now in the world. Yeah. That I'm proud of. Yeah. And you work so hard. Yeah. And you're not allowed to do, so like, I'm being on, like, this one's for me and that one's for yeah, you. Right, and right, this, right. you know, this, I do that with jokes sometimes. It's like, there's a couple jokes where I'm like, <laughs> no one laughs. I know this never, no, <clears throat> this one's just for me. I like this yeah, one, yeah, yeah. you know? you. This is like, a, you know, it gets like 70% of the reaction of the other ones, <laughs> but like, I like it, you know? Yeah. I just, I think that um, we're so afraid of being boring that we're boring ourselves, you know? Oh. It's, it's I, I just, I don't know how to put out authentic work if it's the engine is just to keep putting out work. Who's benefiting from that? Mm. I mean, there's just so much to choose from now and making something for the sake of making it. I'm always big on why. What's the why on this? Why am I gonna give this thing a year of my life? <laughs>